Next, let's take a look at adding sloped to our modifiers. So for this first area, I'm actually going to be working on the driveway. I'm going to go ahead and start drawing with the hardscape tool. So I'll come over here and for this first area, this first piece of hardscape that I'm going to do, it's going to come like maybe midway or less than the center of this pathway because this first part of the driveway is where all of the slope is going to be and then it's going to flatten out the further on, the further back it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing over here. I'll go ahead and I'll make this 10 feet wide. And then I'll close my shape. Let's take a look at the settings for Draw 3D and Site Modifier. These are the same settings as our sidewalk. It's a four inch slab with a modifier at the top. However, our other paths have been flat. This portion of the driveway is sloped. To add a slope to a hardscape, change the slope definition. Other than none, any of these options will work. Let's use downward ratio, rise over run. Once the slope definition is added, the hardscape will include an arrow with handles that need to be positioned. So over here, you can see that there is an arrow. And if I come and I grab my selection tool over here, there are four blue handles or points that I need to move in order to control which direction the slopes. So the elevation up here at the top of this portion of the driveway, we know that it's three feet up here. So over here in the object info palette, I'm gonna set the elevation to three feet. And then for the elevation at the end, that's gonna be here by the sidewalk but I need to reposition this arrow so that it lines up correctly. So I'm gonna click on this center part right here. So where you have kind of that bull's eye icon, that is where your elevation is. So wherever this point is, it's gonna be set to three feet. So I wanna click and then click again here on the midpoint of the driveway, but at the very top edge. And then where you have these dotted lines right here, that's your contour line and for the contour, normally you're just going to want to have that contour running along the edge, that top edge of your hardscape. And then this arrow right here, that's going to coincide over here with the elevation at the end. And so I want that elevation to be here at the bottom of the driveway. Then I'm going to come over here and the elevation at the end, I want to change that to be one tenth of an inch. And so let's take a look at this in 3D. So you can see the top portion of the driveway, I can see that, the bottom portion of the driveway, I can see that, and then the rest of it's under the site model. Let's go ahead and grab the selection tool, click on the site model, and then come over here and update. And so now you can see that I have my driveway in here, at least the slope portion of the driveway. So the remainder of the driveway is gonna be pretty easy I'm just going to come over here and grab the hardscape tool and just start drawing a rectangle. And then I need to come over here, I need to change the slope definition to none, and then make sure that that elevation is at three feet. And once again, I still have a slab modifier on the top. And remember, it looks like my site model doesn't need to be updated, but because I have a little bit of meringue and because I have this candy cane striping, I do need to grab my selection tool and just update the site model.